The Assassin Predator, also known as the Upgrade Predator, was a formidable, genetically enhanced Yaucha with a specific mission, to eliminate the fugitive Predator, destroy his ship, and prevent him from delivering the Predator Killer technology to humanity. The Assassin was a colossal Yaucha, created through extensive hybridization. His DNA incorporated genetic material from various creatures, resulting in increased size, strength, and unique abilities. Standing at a towering 11 feet, he outclassed normal predators in terms of height, strength, speed, and durability. His malleable physiology allowed him to manifest unnatural traits. This imposing figure had beige skin with dark stripes and black hair. Unlike regular predators, the assassin had digitigrade legs, which enabled greater speed and agility as he walked on his toes. He possessed an organic bulletproof exoskeletal layer that could be activated at will, rendering him impervious to close range gunfire and even wrist blade attacks, eliminating the need for external body armor. Activating the exoskeleton altered his skin color from beige to gray. Remarkably, he didn't require a biomask for advanced optical features, suggesting a unique implant technology. The Assassin Predator employed a range of Yaucha technology and weaponry, including a retractable wrist blade, capable of being fired out on a cable, making it akin to a harpoon. The cable had the strength to decapitate a human. He also possessed a stealth cloak and a wrist cannon. To aid him in tracking down the fugitive, the Assassin had a pair of Predator dogs, similar to how the Tracker Predator used Hellhounds. It's uncertain whether the Assassin's hybridization was self-initiated or a result of collaboration among research cast Yaucha to create a superior hunter for their race. Stargazer's revelation that the fugitive predator also had human DNA indicated that hybridization wasn't unique to the assassin. Given that such extensive hybridization was generally frowned upon in Yaucha society, the assassin might have been considered an abomination. His willingness to kill other predators suggests that he may have been a bad blood. After the fugitive predator managed to evade the assassin and crash-landed on Earth, the assassin followed, ultimately tracking the fugitive to a school where he completed the first phase of his mission by killing him. He then headed to the McKenna household in search of predator equipment to locate the fugitive ship. This led to confrontations with humans, and he abducted Quinn's son, Rory, to harvest his DNA. However, the loonies managed to disable his ship, and in the final battle, he was engulfed in an explosion and subsequently dispatched by Quinn with multiple shots to the face. The assassin predator represented a remarkably powerful Yaucha, perhaps the most formidable scene on film. While his design was visually intriguing, some might find the concept of extreme hybridization a bit over the top for a predator movie. The idea of predators using DNA from creatures they've bested to enhance themselves could raise questions about why they would need to do so if they were already superior to those creatures. The movie's plot and character design ventured into more extraordinary territory than previous Predator films, potentially alienating some fans. Thanks for joining me on this journey through Predator lore. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more exciting content, and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next adventure.